they're still the same thing and they're just as nice either way. So, first, oh yeah, the ingredient, you, yeah, there. First you need to preheat the oven to 220 degrees. Mm, about there. Um, and the ingredients you need, 225 grams of self-raising flour. One pinch of salt, why does that say one punch of salt? <laughs> 55 grams of butter, 25 grams of cheese, plus a little bit extra to sprinkle on the top, uh, 150 milliliters of milk, and yeah. So, first of all, you need the flour. All the ingredients are already measured, don't worry, we haven't just guessed. In goes the flour. Goes the bowl. It's okay. That don't matter. In goes the butter. Devil. And a little pinch of salt. How? My fingers don't fit in there. Just only the tiniest bit. There. There was some in there. And you get your spoon, or your microphone, and your mix, mix, mix. So, um, now you need to add, sorry I got caught on my handle, <laughs> add the, some of the cheese, leave a little to grate on top, dump, that should be enough to put on top, and add the milk, don't do all of it at once, leave a little bit left, My arms are getting floppy, floppy, floppy. Still got to mix in the rest of the milk though. Okay, okay. So now you've got your thing ball of dough? Can you call it a ball of dough? You need to just put this bit down there and sprinkle the surface with flour. Make sure your hands are washed if you're touching the mixture. Which you will need to do because you can't you need to knead it just for a little bit. If it gets stuck, just add a little more flour down. Until it forms little bits of the dough. Okay, so now you get your rolling pin. <laughs> Just gonna do a little bit of flour because now you're going to be rolling it out and you don't want it to stick. So then you have crumpled things and you can rub a bit onto the rolling pin. Slap your dough in the middle. And just roll it out until it's about two centimeters thick. It's about this thick. So there. And this dough actually makes six, which I forgot to mention. So make sure you go right out to the edge so you can get as many in one roll as possible. 
just wiggle it a little bit if you need to and put it on your either greaseproof papered tray or your oil tray my tray is oil today and then I get another one going right to the edge like we did with the other so once you have got your leftover bits that you used after you need to roll it out again with a mixture. Yeah, that went wrong. Just a little bit more flour, I reckon. Just roll it out to two centimetres thick again. And now you just do the same again. Wiggle, 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 yeah. And put them onto the tray. Don't so close. Got to get two in this last one. Last roll. I'm only going to get one and then I'm going to have to roll it out again. Last one. You don't want to go too thin because otherwise it will be the only one that burns. And that, uh, think it on. Oh, yeah! The egg! So, you also need to do whisk up an egg and then you get your brush. Mine looks a bit hideous, I know. But somebody used it to barbecue. Just kind of brush on. Make sure it gets a nice golden colour when they cook. That. And now you're just going to sprinkle on top some cheese. Then they need to go in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes and that is how to make cheese scones or scones. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!